All right, guys. Update. I've got 213. Uh, got to get about 47 more, 37 more, something like that. And uh, then I'll be sticking y'all down in there. Stick it y'all across over there. Lot, uh, some buddies of mine dug in there and found some big old beautiful arrowheads. It's crazy to think that Indians lived in under them. I mean, I guess they had to. They, they ain't dug in that one, but that one right there they did, and they, they found some good, some good points up there. Y'all look. Got 200 out of this little spot, and look at all them little pieces. That's why these grow back that good. I want y'all look over here how thick these are. This is what it looks like in two years. That's how thick they are in two years. And you can tell the cord right here about six months ago. See how they're a little thinner? But look how big around the leaves are on them. But I'm fixing to finish mine out. And uh, I'll put, like I said, I'll put y'all in the water and let y'all check out these minnows. Red and red. Huh. <laughs> See y'all in a minute. Okay, guys, I want to show y'all something. One of the reasons these grow back so well. Look, this is a this is my trimmings. Do y'all see? Uh, do y'all see all of the partridge berries in there? There's hundreds of little broke ones. Now watch. See right here where I've been pulling them. That's why when I come back, they're so thick, like these right here. Look. You see how thick these are? Look at them berries. Look at that. Look there at that red mill butt right there. <laughs> Look at what a pile of mica's got. Here's what we do with them. That's 105, okay? Five extras. And this dirt right here, uh, it's extremely rich, but it's acidic too. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's like sand right here, look. It's like at a pot mix or something, but it's real cool down here by this water. It's a really good place to pull. Uh, it's a good place for these to grow too. So I gotta get 150 more and then I'll probably have to help Michael get his others. So yep. When I get before when I get done and I'm waiting on him, I'm gonna stick this GoPro in the creek and when I get home I'm gonna see if we see a little minnow on there or something. See y'all in a minute. Stop. Guys, look at Red Mule how beautiful he is. He don't even look real. Show me your wisdom real. <laughs> well guys, we're pulling parts berry. Look at that water. Got that rock house. Got that red mule. Look at that rat. You know, I gotta get back with it. Mike is gonna get more than me. See y'all in a minute. All right, guys, we got them. Here's a bag of 200 and then a bag of 100. Michael's got 200 right there. That's 500. So we got done just in time. It's starting to rain. Uh, hope y'all like today's episode. Uh, the weather's been really bad. Soon we'll be doing bass fishing, walleye fishing, and crappie fishing. You're excited for that, ain't you, Mike? June sign digging. Yeah, it won't be long. It won't be, be September. It won't be sign digging, but gotta start digging blue bells and marking flyers for when the tops die and you get orders from it when you dig them. So it's gonna be a lot of content coming out soon. And it's all gonna be nature related. It's all gonna be country living. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, country style. Yeah, country style. I ain't talking about them boys that cook up there in South Carolina either. <laughs> I like watching them, but uh, it's just country living at its finest right here in the mountains of Tennessee. But Red Mule, he wants y'all to know that the best life is a country life. <laughs> y'all have a good one. Keep it country. <laughs>